So in this video, we're going to go through some slightly more unusual uh, cases of simplifying with thirds. Um, so first of all, we're going to go through a couple with a fraction inside a square root, and then we're going to take a look at cube roots, which goes through a very similar process that you're used to. So first example here, the square root of 5 over 4. Now, the first thing to note is that when you are square rooting a fraction, this is the same as square rooting the numerator and square rooting the denominator separately. So this is the same as that. Now the square root of 4 is of course 2. So this is the same as square root of 5 over 2. Or you can write it as 1 half times the square root of 5. Okay. So that is that third simplified. Now, number two, we have the square root of one third. Now, yes, we can write that as the square root of one over the square root of three. But in order to simplify that, we go through a process of rationalizing the denominator. And we'll see how to do that uh, in the videos coming up. So instead of doing that, I'm going to show you a slightly different approach. OK, so the idea here is to make sure that I don't have um, a third in the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down a um, equivalent, an equivalent fraction to one third by uh, multiplying top and bottom by three. Now, this is in order to get a square number in the denominator. So I'm going to write one third as three ninths. That can then be written as the square root of three over the square root of nine. Now the square root of nine is of course three, so this is root three over three, or one third root three. Now you would get the same answer when you are rationalizing the denominator. OK, going through that process. So uh, it'll be good for you to be able to see that there are alternatives to it as well. Now, number three, we've got the cube root of 16. So we're going to go through a similar process that we've done uh, with simplifying square roots in the previous video. And we're looking now for a cube number that goes into 16. And that'd be 8. So I can write the cube root of 16 as the cube root of 8 times 2 and then write that as the cube root of 8 times the cube root of 2. Now the cube root of 8 we know as 2, and so we can write that as 2 cube root of 2. Now number 4, we've got the cube root of 375. Now the cube number that goes into 375 is 125. 5 cubed. So we can write this as the cube root of 125, and that's times 3. So separate that out. Cube root of 125 times by the cube root of 3. Cube root of 125 is 5, so this is 5 cube root of 3. Okay?